In this tutorial I'm going to go over how you can create this ball using the sculpt function and uh, surface modeling or T-splines within Fusion 360. I'm not going to go through how you would you know, render this, but I'm just going to show you the basics of how you can use those two tools that I mentioned to create really nice looking objects rather quickly. So the first thing you need to do is draw a sketch or find a sketch of a bottle side on and um, this is the one that I found I think it's quite a common tutorial but you can sketch something like this or something similar but I would use this as a starting point to you know add your own modifications and make it your own so once you've got that scan it in it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as, as, long as it's easy to see that's fine then obviously open fusion uh, this is one that I've just created beforehand so you can see it doesn't look too bad. There's things that you can do to it, you know, like you can split this maybe or add something to the top or, you know, mechanism to the back or make this uh, see-through. Um, <clears throat> but we'll start with a blank document and then we'll go to insert, insert, oh, insert canvas. If I click the right one. Yeah. Insert canvas, insert from my computer and find the one that you need, the sketch, ball sketch. Now we're going to select one of these two planes, it doesn't really matter which one you pick for now, but just select one, make it a bit bigger, click OK, and then go into canvases on the left, and right click, and then click calibrate. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the computer how wide this bottle should be. Obviously, as I mentioned in, in other videos, this is like an infinite canvas. So Fusion doesn't know what scale is unless you give it a dimension. So we're going to say that this is maybe 85 millimeters wide. Now it should change size. Once we've got that, we need to right click again on the canvas and then edit canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it so that the bottom of the bottle, the center point of the bottle at the bottom, is touching the origin which is the center of the canvas and um, that should do it doesn't matter if it's not flat because this is only a sketch it, it wasn't accurate to begin with so now that we've got that you can see it's in 3d space we're going to go to the sculpt environment by hitting the purple cube and once we're in there we're going to click on the cylinder and then the bottom plane and then select the origin and drag it out and then you can type in 80, 80 if you want and then just click with your left mouse and then you can see that we've got a cylinder so we'll just drag it up a little bit and then click OK to finalize that now that we've got the starting point we need to adjust this to match the profile which is you know the, the, the side profile of the bottle <coughs> so we, once we've got that we're going to edit the edit form tool and then if you double click on an edge it will then select the entire edge which means that you can scale it in that direction or you can uniformly scale it that way you know to make it bigger or smaller so now what we're going to do is we're going to you can take your time with it but I'm just going to do it for really quick for time I'm just going to bulge it out slightly and then this one bulge it out slightly again and this one move it in bulge it out again <coughs> but what you can do is if you run out of you know faces if you double click on the top line and then hold option on your keyboard or alt and then drag up it'll create more faces for you so we're going to do that three more times maybe four just so it's around about the same height now that we've got that we can just finish moving this in and obviously as you get to the top because the bottle sweeps towards the back um, this way on the video you'll need to rotate it and then you know make it bigger and then move it and 
it is worth taking your time to do this because this is obviously the starting point from which everything else will be made from rotate that again make it bigger and then this top one needs to roughly match the top of the bottom make it a bit bigger move it down now I can go back and just start adjusting these so I can see that this one is maybe too big I think that'll do for now. So once you've finalised that and you're happy with it, click OK. And now, now you should be just left in this space. So uh, what we have now is the surface, but it's in the sculpt environment, which means that we can edit, you know, the curvature of the surface. But once you're happy with it, we'll click Finish Form, and then what Fusion does is, is turns that sculpt model into a surface model. So if I turn the canvas off, you can see we have like an empty tube in the shape that we want. But with surface models, there is no thickness, although it looks like it might be as, as thin as a sheet of paper for now. And the computer doesn't see it like that. It just, it, it's it got like a, a mathematical curvature to it. It doesn't actually have a thickness. So what we need to do in the end is turn it into a body. But for now, we're just going to make some uh, changes to it by going to the surface environment within the design workspace click in sketch and we want to click on this plane which is you know the one that we're looking at right now and now what we want to do is just zoom into the top and then use the spline if you want to use the spline or a line tool or whatever click and then click over here and then click OK now what you should have is a straight line but you can see that there's green handles on it so if we grab one of them green handles You can see that we can adjust the curvature of that line so what we're going to do is we're going to just move it up and then try and match it as close as we can to the sketch so that looks fine to me so once you've done that because we're going to split the body into a few different parts we need to offset this line so that we've got you know the exact same curvature but a little bit further down because there's always a gap between two parts so if we click on the keyboard or you can go up here and click offset and then select the line and then we want to type in minus two maybe yeah that'll do Min minus two millimeters so this is the exact same uh, curvature just move down so now that we've got that we're going to draw on these two lines here where the body of the bottle actually meets the I'm presuming it'll be glass or you know plastic so again we'll grab the spline tool and then click up here click and follow the lines now with the spline tool the fewer clicks you make the smoother the line will be so that's important to remember because if you if you have you know 50 different points there's 50 different opportunities for that line to make you know like a, a wobbly curvature we don't want that we want it to be smooth so if you've got it matching the line to begin with, that's great. But if you haven't, you can just click on any point and then just you know adjust the curves if you want. But I'm just going to leave that for now because it's worked out pretty well. Let me adjust that. So now that we've got that, we're gonna we're not going to offset it this time because the curvature of this line on the inside is slightly different. And if you offset something, if you adjust, if we adjust the offset on the inside, it'll then adjust the original line but we don't want that so we'll create a new spline and then again just slowly follow the curvature of the sketch as best you can and that seems about right yeah that's close enough you can obviously spend more time on this and I might split this into two parts because uh, it's quite a long video so once we've got that 
two sketches you can see if we zoom out a bit and just turn that off we're left with this and it's still a solid body so what we need to do is split this body using the sketches so if we hit S on the keyboard you'll bring up the shortcuts and then search for split split body and then enter we're going to select the body that we want to split which is this one which is the only one we've got and then the tools we're going to use the lines that we drew so click both lines you can see that we have two red lines now and then again move the camera around and click on both other lines so now you should have four red planes in the shape of the sketch that we just created and then you can click extend if you want if we don't it's just going to bring it to the edge of the model but it is for most of the time it is better to click extend just to make sure you've extended the split right through the body once you've done that click OK now we should have something looking like this so if we go into our bodies we can see that we've got this one we turn that off and the one in the middle which is the, that one turn that off we can see that we've got a hollow shape now in using the sketches that we've created in the first place so we can get rid of them two that we don't need right click and remove now we want to name them because it's it's good practice. So this one is the lid. This one is the main body, and then this one is the plastic front. So now that we have that, in the next part of the video, I'm going to go over how you can actually join all of these together and make it look like a bottom. So yeah, stick around for part two.